Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Radiance. I got a cancer calling out to me. I don't know who you are, but I got cancer calling out. Before we do your reading, Cancer, we're going to pull a gemstone. Um, the Angels and Gemstone Guardian Cards by Margaret Ann Lembo. We're going to pull one of these for you. And then we're going to do your reading with the Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. Cancer. Cancer calling. I know a lot of cancers. Cancer. <laughs> picking, up, picking up on a, a, a stuck zipper. Somebody, somebody pissed right off. Zipper stuck, maybe even broken. It's like the zipper is halfway up and the rest is like wide open down in the bottom. Broken zipper. <laughs> Little frustrations of life. Cancer. What have we got? We have a selenite. Sel selenite or selenite. Um pretty. It, it's like a like a beige. Are you uh driving for a deeper connection with the divine? Well, I gotta tell you, I like that. Quiet your mind. Listen to what your angels and guides want you to know. Hear the ancient wisdom within. Align your spinal column. Care for your bones, muscles, nerves, and your cells. Align, align your spinal column. Take care of yourself. It is the angel of divine guidance. My God. It's freaking incredible. I am aligned with the divine. I am a spiritual being of divine love and divine light. My spine, bones, tendons, and muscles are healthy, strong, and aligned. I have access to the ancient wisdom stored within me. Well, wow. selenite, selenite. Wow, cancer, okay. Let's do a reading. Let's hope it uh, has something to do with that. Quiet your mind, cancer. Obviously, the, the, what I'm seeing here is that Possibility of a portal opening up for you. Cancer. Let's give them a break. Cancer. Very interested to find out what this reading is going to be about. Let's go. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Cancer. There's a whole brand new beginning happening here in something. The Ace of Wands. And beside the Ace of Wands, we've got a Yahoo time. This is partying, partying time. This is celebration. Whole brand new beginning and celebration. Look at this. Wow. Whatever this celebration and this new beginning is, it's like calling in people, calling in friends and family and co-workers and come celebrate with me, eat, drink, make merry. Beautiful. I'm upside down here. Stay on course. Well. Wow. Wow, okay, Cancer, uh, I don't know if you're like, um, if you're trying to um, make stardom, if you're trying to get into stardom, um, 
If it's not stardom, I, I got to tell you, <laughs> just, it, it really feels like it was almost effortless. Once I thought about it, it became effortless. This whole brand new beginning, this celebration, this joy, this happiness, not staying on course. What does that mean? I'm not staying on course with it. It means it didn't take a lot of effort. It was almost like, now I don't know if somebody else was leading you in there. It's almost like it took very, very little effort. I didn't have to stay on course for months and years and, and planning and comes effortlessly. With the Six of Pentacles, the ability to give and to share. With the Devil card coming out here, also the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Mind Entrapment, also known as the, the Devil card in playing cards. With the Eight of Swords, this is the release of the entrapment of the mind. This whole brand new beginning could be just releasing yourself from things and people that have happened in the past. And it just suddenly became effortless. It just suddenly, bang, was there. Um, some kind of divine healing, possibly. But I've got this equal give and take, and I got letting go of mind entrapment, the mind cyclone, with the thoughts spinning around and around and around and around. One thought, and then before you can even try to think about that thought, another thought, and another thought, another thought, over and over and over. The manic mind being released. In the reverse, being released. Cancer. There's somebody here that you've been kind of ignoring too. Now there could be a Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio here. Or a uh, Virgo. But you've been kind of not going with the flow when it comes to your emotions. What the hell is going on here? You've been kind of not going with the flow with your emotions. In other words, you have not been paying attention to your emotions whatsoever. But there's someone here that I think you should be talking to because even you are thinking that it's not ended. But the death card in the reverse this is not over. But I feel cancer that you've got this great emotion for someone. This great emotion for someone. But there's a refusal to move forward. There's a refusal to speak to somebody. But it's not over. It's not done. This is a love reading. At first I felt it was like some kind of fame. It was effortless. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, before I let you know what Spirit said. Alright, yep. Alright, thank you, Spirit. Uh, this is love. Cancer... If it's not you, I want you to swing it around. I think you, you or somebody else wants a new beginning. The celebration here is going to be unbelievable. The two people very much in love celebrating. Now, I would say this could be someone new, but I have... The emotions have not ended. So it's someone from the past. There is no time when I have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse paired up with the Hermit. There's no time for thought. 
There's no time to go within. There's something here, Cancer, of letting go of the mind tornado, the constant thought over and over and over and over, and the emotions. There, there's some great... All right, I just got to call it out here. It's what Spirit is saying. Making a judgment call for lovers. Cancer, the emotion that you have for somebody. If this resonates, you got to go back. Because I do see that it will be good. Something has changed. Something here has changed. When I have the temperance card, all of a sudden, not staying on course with what? Not staying on course with this mind thing, this manic mind of thinking and thinking and thinking. Equal give and take now, wanting a new beginning. Celebration. Uh, I'm not taking the time, I cannot take the time to go within and think anymore. This is, um, I gotta go. There's anxiety here. I can't wait. No more thinking. I gotta go. Great emotion here that has kept you at a standstill for quite some time. Great emotion. I got a Pisces here. It's not over. And drawing the sword, and drawing the sword is making a judgment call. Lovers. Libra, Gemini here. Cancer, this is definitely reunion. This is reunion. So from, thank you spirit, scared the hell in me over there for a minute. Because when the cards turn, you think, well, wait. And you don't want to make it sound like you're going jumping back and forth. You don't want to make it sound like, oh, but then it's bad news. But wait, there's good news because the cards will jump back and forth. But you must read the cards for how they are. You cannot read one card. You must put them together. So why do I have the nightmare? Why do I have the nine of wands? Why do I have the nightmare? And why do I have the overbearing heaviness of the nine of wands followed by the ten of pentacles? The awesomeness of the ten of pentacles. From this... To this from the nightmare card I can't eat I can't sleep I'm overtaxed I'm overburdened it's just I can't stop freaking thinking to dropping thought to making a judgment call about the emotions ten of pentacles Just a couple more spirit. Spirit says no, end it. Sometimes I I, I just gotta see, you know, I'm just I'm freaking nosy. Flourishing in the garden. The Queen of Pentacles. All the pentacles are coming out now. The whole brand new beginning. The reuniting celebration, the equal give and take, the change of thought, the change of pattern, the holding back of my emotions to, well, you know what, I, I can't take the time to sit here and keep thinking about this. Uh, this is not ended. I I'm making a judgment call. That this, this is one going from nightmare blessing from nightmare to yeah I guess cancer's the one <laughs> okay beautiful Sagittarius Gemini double dot Libra Scorpio Virgo Pisces
Somebody's unhappy down there. All signs are on the board, but this is what's prominent. Selenite. Love it. The angel of divine guidance. Listen to the angels of divine guidance, Cancer. Thanks for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.